District Court, Elisha speaking. Can I direct your call? Yeah, hi. I was wondering how do I go into the office and where do I have to go to file a restraining order? Okay. Um, what's the relationship? I met this guy overseas through Facebook, and I never met him in person. And after I broke it off with him in Facebook, he tracked down my personal information, like my 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 personal details and my email, and has been um, extremely stalking me for over six years now. And he's overseas, so um, I was just trying to see what I have to do about filing a restraining order to get him served, and how much does it cost to get him served? Okay, let me turn to you over to domestic violence. Domestic violence. Monica. Monica. Yeah, hi. Um, I was wondering, how do I go and where do I have to go to to go file a restraining order against a guy that I met on Facebook in 2016? And after I broke it off in 2016, um, uh, he tracked down my personal information, and, like my personal okay. details. Okay, so you'll, you'll come, come into district, district court. court. We're up before the moment. moment. Um, you'll, you'll come, come to room 240. 240. And we, and we can, can accept, accept that, that paperwork, paperwork between 8.30 and 10.30 or 1 to 3, 3 Monday, Monday through, Friday. through Friday. Okay, do you know if you guys could fa- file a restraining order if this guy is overseas because that's what's, what the scenario is and how much does it cost to get him served? So um, you can file that here even though they're out of the country. Um, it will be up to the hearing officer to decide if it meets their requirements. Um, but, but, I mean, I mean as, as far as, as serving, serving the other party, party I, would I would just wait, wait and see, to see to if it's granted or not. Okay. Uh, okay? Yeah, I have all kinds of evidence against this guy for over six years now. He's been doing this for okay. over six years now, so you I'll go to the... You don't bring any of that. You'll, you'll just, just need to write about, about it. it. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate okay. it. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so just a quick video. I found this website for the city of Albuquerque informing the people that run the domestic violence uh, department in this city are is a list of behavior that is violent that commits under domestic violence uh, so warning signs of battering behavior is jealousy controlling behavior which sounds very appropriate for the scenario that I'm about to report. Isolation, blaming others, verbal abuse, psychological abuse, cruelty to children or animals, threats of violence, force during arguments, angers easily when drinking or using other drugs. Does this fucking sound familiar right here? Drinking fucking problems. Breaking or striking objects, discouraging other friendships, threatens with weapons, controls your schedule, accuses you of being unfaithful, controls all your finances, and forces you to have sex. Okay, so here is another page pertaining to the city of Albuquerque under the domestic violence violations. Anybody doing this? is criminal and here are a list of numbers and so we already explained the warning signs of battering behavior which contains controlling behavior verbal abuse psychological abuse threats of violence easily angers after drinking uh, controls your schedule and forces you to have sex so that would apply and here are some numbers for resources Uh, we're going to call second judicial district court for this one helps with trauma and the burden the victim suffers as a result of the commission of a crime the second judicial district court restraining orders we're going to go do that Uh, let's see we could also possibly call this to adult protective services statewide intake call if we suspect an adult is being abused neglected or exploited uh so we have albuquerque sexual assault nurse examiners we don't need that alcoholic anonymous where obviously mika ajala needs to fucking get some serious mental help with this affiliation right here uh, let's see what else do we have domestic violence resource center 
we could possibly do that. Uh, for trafficking victims, we require care of services to survivors of human trafficking that includes advocacy, client-centered base management, and linkages to care. So maybe sex trafficking in relation, so we might possibly use that resource. Um, maybe the National Domestic Violence Hotline, we can call that. National Human Trafficking Hotline, we could possibly call that too. Uh, National Sexual Assault Hotline, we can call that. Uh, let's see. Maybe the New Mexico Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Uh, New Mexico Crisis on Access Line, we can call that too. Peer to peer warm line. Uh, let's see what else. There is a rape crisis. I've never physically been raped, so just spiritually I have, but it's okay. It's not the same thing. Psychiatric services, this is where I go for my psychiatric help, get my medication for my schizophrenia. So there are your phone numbers and your resources that I'm going to pertain to and try to see if I can get something out of this and report this fucking bullshit behavior of Mika Ajala fucking uh, some fucking controlling internet fool thinks that he has some control over my body or my spirit or my character which he's wrongly wrongly sick in the head and will not fucking ever get to me because you live on the other side of the fucking country but still I could still make accusations against you because you do exist if you did not ex if you didn't exist none of this bullshit would not be happening so you actually pertain me to a challenge every fucking single day so I do take on your challenge and why don't you fucking challenge me when I fucking challenge you and fucking challenge me to see if you could ever fucking defeat me which you can never can because my fucking protection gates will always be there no matter what and however you try to enter or sneak into my fucking world you can I mean you can you already obviously have through my fucking camera listening to me on eavesdropping and espionage and spying on me so I mean I know what your capabilities are but you do not know what my abilities and capabilities are to fight against you and your fucking psychiatric war that you want to fucking keep pertaining or try to provoke me every single day by stalking me and harassing me and bothering me every fucking single day so that way I can notice you. You are fucking sick in the head and fucking I, I, I have no other fucking words to say. I mean... What the fuck, dude? I mean, you, obviously, you got a fucking serious mental problem with yourself. And you ne need to be put in your place to be corrected of your fucking faults. Because your faults are going to get the best of you. And you think it's all fun and games and shit. Your little fucking manip manipulative personality of yours. Thinking that you have, have some kind of control over me over the internet. Uh, while your troubles are going to fucking... It's going to show in your face whenever does justice does come to your, your energy field for what you have been trying to entice me to fucking get me to fucking notice you just because you fucking want to act like a little fucking crackhead fucking uh, person who fucking smokes meth your little fucking criminal intent behavior, your little bullshit fairy tale about your drunken game. Fucking, you cannot be getting away with it forever. I, the reason why I do not do anything about it is because I do not give a fuck about you or what you have to do or what you have to say or what your feelings are about me because all of those fucking intentions and feelings is fucking false in your head because it would never fucking happen. But you just cannot let it fucking go and you want to keep fucking bothering me and harassing me all fucking day, every day for the past fucking six years. Fucking obviously you need to be put in your fucking place where the fucking cops will tell you that you need to fucking stop your bullshit because your bullshit is just fucking meaningless. Your useless talent to fucking use your internet trickery bullshit against me. It's fucking, it's, 
you're, you're, it's gonna fucking go to your, it's gonna make you realize how much of a fucking fool that you are, and you fucking, you're just a fucking rotten savior, that you want everybody else's approval, and you want everybody else to fucking be on your side, and you want to fucking hide your fucking self, your selfish, hasty motive behind everybody else's back, and you want to be accepted by others, and all you want is attention from everybody, you know what, fuck your prerogative on your fucking personality or your fucking behavior characteristics. Whatever your fucking, your criminal abusive bullshit, it's, it's invalid and it's void and it's fucking nothing to me. So fucking keep playing your fucking games. Keep fucking abusing the internet because that's all you fucking know. You don't know anything else but fucking no respect. You're very fucking disrespectful towards women and fucking you need to be fucking put in your fucking place where you fucking are going to rot in jail, bitch.